Good morning, sir. What's up, peeps? What are we doing today? We're taking progress switches. Nice. Uh, for yes, and a lot of people sit and I pronounce his name. It's yes and the letter. Where are we right now? Is it four weeks out? A little over four weeks. A little over four. <coughs> okay. One eighty five point eight. What are your thoughts on this check in? I'm leaning in last check in, so that's great. Yes, it is. Just need to continue getting tired. Not there yet, but well, still got five pounds to drop, so should be fine. Yeah, it's still pretty easy, only 30 minutes cardio. The food's still pretty, and our car's in all the mills. Yeah, it's not, it's a pretty good spot. Pretty good spot to be in. If Yesin does make a change, like are we waiting right now to hear what he has to say and then we implement it today? No, I mean, <clears throat> no, we used to do that, but this one, I need it like I was running behind. Yeah. No, I'll just do it the next day. Okay, okay. Yeah, so no rush. Oh. Cardio! Okay, first and foremost, mm -hmm. I'm interested about your leg day because it's my understanding that you're not necessarily trying to grow your legs. Is that correct? My claws, yeah, and my glutes. But the hams, yes. Yeah, and the calves. The, yeah. Okay. What shirt is this? It is a flag no failed original. Dang, boy, you look fresh <laughs> today. Hold on, let me get the, let me get the spin around. Get the holes. Oh. Get the, there's another one. Whoa, <laughs> swagged out. <laughs> I just need to get some shorts now. Yeah, you do. They're on the way. You almost got everything. <laughs> Question of the day for Joe. What's what? it gonna be? What are the three most important traits that a person can't control um, that would make them a good bodybuilder? So you can so they control, so no genetics. Um, work ethic, a growth mindset. Um let me see what would be a good third. Uh, I mean, this one's kind of a, um, a broad one, but like I'd say like emotional intelligence, um, like being able to like appropriately, um, you know, look at things not emotionally and um, uh, create like realistic expectations for their actions. I don't know if that's kind of a big one, but yeah, I'd say. That's yeah, fair. I'd say those, I'd say those three. Rough? Mine, mine are actually really similar. I, I'd use different words, but. I think the last one he said um, kind of, is kind of very similar to like focusing on the things they can control. So not quite, maybe a little different, but very, very similar, you know. Um, if you can change it, then don't worry. Don't worry about it. <laughs> and if you can't change it, you, you can't change it, so don't worry about it, you know. Knowing your your why, so understanding why you, you're doing a sport, and it has to be big enough or important enough for you to, you know, make it through hard times you know, throughout your bodybuilding journey. It's a tough one, second one, <laughs> third one. Um, let's go with setting, having a game plan, you know? It doesn't have to be completely thought out, but obviously the, the end goal is kind of your why, but you kind of need some, some mini daily, weekly, monthly, yearly goals to, to set for yourself. You know, the daily ones could be, you know, I'm gonna kill this workout. I'm gonna beat my my previous best records. I'm gonna perform this exercise more perfectly, progressively overload, progressive overload, basically. Um, you know, monthly could be a little bit, a little different. You know, a little larger goals. Um, I don't know, maybe what's a good monthly goal you can have? Maybe put on. A decent amount, a couple pounds a month. Not, it doesn't have to be anything crazy. It has to be realistic, obviously. You know, don't say you're gonna put on like 20 pounds every month. Be Ronnie Kobe by next year. So, um, setting goals like that, 
just an idea, like loose goals. And then yearly goals is, oh, I'm going to compete at this show at this time of year, or I'm going to go for nationals at this, you know, this point, something like that, I think. So sum that up, have, know your why, have a plan, focus on what you can control. There you have it. Secrets to success All right. by Hypertrophy Coach and Rough Diesel. Dun, dun, dun. That must be why you guys are so huge. Yeah, we're, we're very, we're very, we got all the, all the, the things <laughs> down there. All those ideas. Strong as my hamstrings have ever been. Nice. I was looking at the stack just now. You're almost at the bottom. Getting closer. Not quite Joe level yet, but <laughs> catching up. I'm stuck at like 190, 200 for the longest. Now I'm at like 230 for a good amount of reps, not just like five, like, I don't know, maybe a six, seven. So, yeah, it's good. Good thing. And, Joe and Guess and say my hamstrings are growing a bit, so that's good. It correlates. Yeah. yeah, yeah. What's next? What's next on the menu? Hacks, banded hacks. Uh, yeah. Um. So reason for these is um, instead of doing back squats, where you get a little bit more glute activation, glute work. I don't need a bigger butt, so. Uh, hack spots is a little bit more emphasis on our quads. And uh, yeah, that's the, probably the biggest thing there. I try to keep my legs a little bit closer together per Joe's instructions to not have my adductors go crazy <laughs> and grow any bigger than what they are and take over my whole whole leg. So uh, yeah, yeah, I think that's kind of the gist of that one. We just did the hack squats and then we moved on to. Uh, now we're doing line leg curls and leg extensions. Okay. Super set it. Anything specific or interesting about these two? We're super setting them, but we're not like trying to murder ourselves. It's just going back and forth for the, you know, decent pace. Okay. Um, for, I mean, pretty. Pretty similar stuff um, that we talked about with the line leg curl, just making sure you're bracing yourself, you know, as best of your ability and really just moving at that knee joint. Um, yeah, yeah, uh, nothing crazy with this one, setup wise and leg extension wise. Um, 
we'll come back and talk about that one when we get there. Okay. And then you had said earlier that you are stronger now on your legs. Is that true? Um, yeah. As a, I mean, yeah, <laughs> definitely. Stronger now than ever, though? Um, on hamstring curls, but yeah. On uh, nothing else, really. On leg, on hex, I'm getting pretty close to where I was at my all-time strongest. Um, definitely sh stronger than I think my last rep. Okay. So, yeah, nice. yeah it's, it's a good, it's a good, uh, good, good prep going so far. Excellent. Strength, strength wise. Excellent. I don't know for a couple of months, and that's the first one that that's felt like oh, I'm I'm like skilled enough to do it properly again. Like everything felt great, uh, not as shaky as we first started adding it back in, and uh, that lets you know each set, each exercise is a skill you got to relearn after taking a break from it. So yeah, it takes time. That's why. I don't agree with changing exercise every week or so. Cause you're not even good at it yet. You can't even perform it properly. Oh man. Oh geez. Oh geez. <laughs> oh heck man. <laughs> Show me. In case everyone doesn't know this. Make sure you read the warning before you use the product. Uh-oh. Use of this product may cause Prowler flu. Oh, God. Has it happened, Joe? Has it happened? Oh, to many a person. <laughs> Terrence has been in many a coma after that. <laughs> I'm gonna have a cramp. I already feel it. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Joe, I sticked it around for you. <laughs> <laughs> Joe, I'm gonna have a cramp. I already feel it. Oh no, oh no. Oh, Joe, I sticked it around for you. 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 Oh, I got the flu. Oh no, oh no. What the hell? You had to push this guy too. Oh. There was extra weight. Oh damn. How many times per week are you hitting each of those body parts right now? Um, I'm hitting quads and hamstrings once a week. And um, calves uh, two to three times a week. I think, I think we're doing it twice now. We've done it anywhere from two to three times a week in the past, so. Okay. Um, in terms of your check-in yesterday, what did Yesin say? Um, he's pretty happy with where, where, how things have been going. He's uh, happy that, um, he says my chest looks weird, so it's okay. Honestly, I, I'm like, I don't know, but... Uh, <laughs> But a lot of people have been saying the same thing. But um, yeah, he's happy with that. He's happy that uh, we put the size back on and I've also leaned out during that process. Um, a lot of people talk about recopping, like it's an easy thing to do. When typically, the only time people can recop is when they like, say for instance, haven't been in the gym for a while, haven't been training for a while, or some other weird circumstance like that. But it's not like a thing like, if we could, if, if recomping was like easily achieved, just 
does and why not why just you would recomp every single time right you'd always choose to lose fat and put on muscle <laughs> like no one would you know absolutely um, <laughs> i would so yeah <laughs> um but yeah he's happy with that now we're di dieting a little bit harder um so the muscle's back i guess and now no more uh sushi um also he took out a decent amount of carbs so i was having 100 grams in the last meal remove that remove my 50 grams of uh, intra carbs and about 40 grams of cream of rice from collectively from meal 22 okay and then how do you feel about where you are on your prep right now I'm happy as long as coach happy I'm happy I think having trust in your coach is key and at this point like maybe not in the beginning it's, it's, it's good to question a little bit more often um, when you're a beginner because a lot of lower level coaches may be bullshitting you so um, but at this point I've, I've known this guy for you know uh, about four years you know I've gone I've stayed in his home he's staying in my home I am 100% confident in Yesin's capabilities so, um, yeah, I'm happy with where I'm at. <laughs> it's a long answer, long way to answer that. <laughs> yeah. Okay, cool.